Uh, so I went to the store today, as one does, to try to get, you know, the cheap Valentine's Day candy. And all the spring stuff's already out. So I wanted to make a fun spring decoration. I'm going to make a cloud that is raining Easter eggs. Um, these little guys, they're like Easter egg ornaments. They had them at my um, dollar store. So this is another inexpensive... Um, fun decoration that's super easy to do. I'm not going to use any sewing, although uh, you can probably use sewing uh, for those who are skilled in that, that realm. I am not. Um, so what you're going to need for a rain cloud, raining Easter eggs, a t-shirt. I found this at my dollar store. These little decorative eggs, they came in a bag with 11. That seems random. Oh, 12. So batting. I have a ton of batting from projects in the past. You could also just use uh, cotton balls, which are certainly available at the dollar store. I just happen to have um, batting. This is the one thing that's really you can't get at the dollar store. Maybe you can, maybe your dollar store does. Uh, I got this, um, it's not expensive, and it's fabric glue. You can always sew it, um, but I'm gonna use this. It's a stitch-free fabric glue, which only cost me $3.50. So um, I think this is gonna be a really good investment because I hate sewing. You know, we go to Comic-Con um, and we always get a ton of free t-shirts and they're usually too big for me. So I like to do activities with them. So this would be another fun thing. You can make a cloud out of a Game of Thrones t-shirt, for instance, or what have you. Um, I also make pillows out of them, which is fun. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna freehand this. Basically, I'm gonna do a cloud. So the bottom, I'm going to do a fairly straight line, and then the top, I'm going to be big and fluffy. And remember, we're going to be cutting through both sides of this fabric. Um, and we're just going to cut away. Now, remember when you're adding batting that you're going to need a little, it's going to become smaller once it, you know, widens up, and that's just the way things work, um, especially because the seams are going to be inside. Just, I am not a sewer. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely not much. I wish I was. You know, my mom's always good. Like, when I was a kid, she would actually sew my Halloween costumes and stuff. I would probably save a lot of money on cosplay stuff if I actually knew how to sew. Here is my nice fluffy cloud. Got, like, little lumpies and stuff. So you glue the side, the, the right side out um, together like this. So the right sides out are facing each other because then you're gonna flip it inside out. I'm gonna leave the bottom um, as my stuffing area and then I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna also stick those on. And I'm leaving a seam around where the glue is. So what I did is I rolled up the top one and see it like this. So I'm not gonna try to just mash the whole thing in at once. Although it's tempting, I get it, but we are gonna try to do this nice and neatly. So I'm just gonna unravel it and stick the glue together with my finger as we go. Okay. So I'm going to let this set, basically. So I just glued the edges together. I left this edge open. That's what I'm going to use as my batting, the bottom edge, and that's how I'm going to attach my little eggs. Um, but I'm going to let this sit, and I'm going to let it dry for a half hour, and then we're going to come back, stuff it, and do everything else, okay? Um, okay, so I let it set, and now I'm going to go ahead and flip it inside out. Doing this still gingerly because I'm a little bit concerned that maybe it's not as dry as I would like it to be. And so there is going to be my cloud. This you can make it as fluffy as you want it to be. Um, you don't need a lot. Like I said, you could probably do cotton balls, especially if you're making it as small as I've made this one. And I think this is kind of a rainy day activity. You know, you could use an old t-shirt you have lying around. So there it is, stuffed. Okay, and remember, you're going to need to leave a little bit of a seam at the bottom, a little bit of room, because you're going to want to fold it over. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and I pinned kind of uh, where I want the, the seam to be down here. Um, I just put pins in that, so when I glue it together, I will take the pins out after they dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these guys in here. Like that. Pin these first, these uh, eggs so that um, I can always adjust it. I'm just gonna kind of set them here just so I have an idea of the spacing. I mean, I could sit there and try to measure it, but <laughs> why do that? That seems silly. If I was really thoughtful, I would have put a ribbon on the top, but I didn't think about that before I glued it, so now we're just gonna have to do something else for the ribbon on top on how to hang it. See, this is what happens when you don't um, plan ahead. You just like wanna wing it on camera. So I have them all pinned on. Isn't that kind of fun? I'm actually going to do a little bit at a time, fold it together as I go. And I'm just going to take the needle and I'm going to um, 
take the needle out and I'm going to use that to hold it together. So this glue does have a half hour dry time, so you do have some um, maneuverability. Now, this could totally be, if you are a sewer, maybe even easier. We're getting there, it's coming, it's coming. I am super jelly of all you folk out there who know how to sew. I'm sure there's lots of uh, YouTube videos. Oh, I totally just stabbed myself. <laughs> Cause I'm the coolest. Um, I'm making sure that the glue is definitely going across where the um, ribbon is. So I'm going to let this dry, but that is my rain cloud. So if you enjoy doing crafts with me and uh, would like to see some more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also uh, click down here. You can see other videos I've done in the past and I will talk to you guys next time.